Teflon Don. Get it up. Give it up. Give it up. Yes, yes. That wasn't that long ago. That was last year. And um, I was hosting the EMA's um, pre-show red carpet show, as I've done every year. And each year I love going to the U.K. or going overseas to find out who's that new hot artist that everybody's talking about. And as soon as I landed, the one that everybody was talking about is here with us today. Uh, she's come a long way to make it to where, we, where she is today, Tracy. Yes. Uh, she did everything from covers on YouTube to, you know, just putting those dreams out there to decorating cakes. to get. <laughs> 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 and now she's one of the most sought after artists in the game. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome her to Sway in the Morning, the one and only Steph Flan. Good morning, Mama. Ba, ba, ba. Hey, guys. Yeah, that was, you know what? That was. We dug that little moment up with us, you know, on the yeah, red carpet. Yeah, that was nice. Yeah, that was nice. Yeah, I like to save these moments. I remember uh, when Rihanna first came out and I got a chance to do her first interview um, on the red carpet. And I, and I saved that because I could sense that, damn, mm. she's going to blow up. Yes. So, and I'm never going to uh, see her again. And you were on point with that. <laughs> yeah, I haven't seen her since. No. <laughs> <laughs> I got the same feeling about you. How you been? I've been good. I've been good. Well, thanks for having that feeling. That's good. You're going to put it in the atmosphere. Got to yes. put it in the atmosphere. What, yeah. is, what is it like when you, in, in your homeland, you know, people already know you, but when they start really gravitating towards you, mm -hmm. when you move overseas and other places of the world? I feel like they was gravitating before. Okay. Speak like, on yeah, it. Yeah. I've, 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 I've actually been blessed because it doesn't happen often. Yeah. And I haven't really seen it so much myself where artists kind of just comes out and they get the full support. And I was, um, fortunate enough, one of those artists mm -hmm. where mm -hmm. the whole UK was actually backing it. Like, and normally it would be like, it takes long or they need to see, like you said, other people maybe being interested. But they was rocking with it before anyone. Mm -hmm. They didn't care about what anyone thought. They just loved it. So. It's, it's like that in the UK to me, though. UK is lit, yeah. yeah. I, I always say UK has been my best crowd, so... Really? Yeah. A lot of people say not for them, but for me, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah and it's uh, what I like about the UK. They don't really care about what other people think now. Mm -mm. You know, before it was like getting an acclamation over here in the states. Yeah, is what made you. Mm -hmm. Now it's like you got to do it at home. It got to be regional. It's you, just whatever they like. Yeah, if they like it, they like. It. If they don't, they don't. Like, right. No matter who's the who co-signs it or whatever. If mm -hmm. Don't feel it. Don't feel it. What, what and that's you, the way it should be anyway. That's right. Yeah. What do your What do your family think of your success now? What's your upbringing? Introduce yourself to our audience. Yes. Yeah. You grow so, up on dishes. I come from a family of seven. My mom and dad got seven kids. Oh wow! Damn. Yeah, they're all musical. Uh -huh. So my brother raps. His name's Dutch. He's out right now as well doing his thing. Um, my sisters they sing. My mom sings a bit. Mm -hmm. My dad used to do DJing. Not this DJ, but you know that Jamaican. Okay. It's like Jamaican. rap Jamaican mm -hmm. thing. Okay. My dad used to do that as a hobby. He never really took it serious, but you still see him on the mic every now and again. Uh -huh. Just like a hype man. Thing. Not a hype man. <laughs> I don't know. Not a hype man. Just have you ever watched Jamaican videos where you see uh -huh. the, the guys on the mic doing the, their the, thing? The, the, okay, okay. That's what Sean Paul yeah. does. They yeah. call that DJ Sing J in, maybe you like might call it. Yeah. Okay, got it. Yeah, so my dad always did that. So I would see him doing all of that. Um, yeah, I don't know. I've been writing music since I was like eight. I went to uh -huh. the studio for the first time when I was nine. Uh huh. And I rapped on them someone's tune. It was kind of like a hard not life type of situation. Uh -huh. I was the kid on the hook. So yeah, from then I like nah, this is me. You, yes. you, you knew this is what you wanted. I want to hear myself on. Because mm -hmm, I was reading <laughs> about that in um a Billboard feature and how like yeah. initially you felt a little shy before you hit the mic, but then when you actually heard yourself from like kind of an outside perspective, yeah. you were like nah, I'm lit. Yeah yeah, <laughs> I'm lit. <laughs> Yeah. Can I swear on that? You say shit. Let's see what happens. The fuck? Don't <laughs> There we go. Am I allowed? You said yeah, I'm, that, 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 he that, 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 said I'm allowed. Yeah, yeah. You, can, you can say whatever you want on oh, Siri. That's why we work here. Uncensored. Yeah. I like it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. What was your question? Well, okay. okay. Also, in that <laughs> article, I'm just mentioning being like I'm on the same page as you. But, Steph, you had mentioned how... Um, some people feel intimidated maybe by your presence at times mm -hmm. and how that's fine because it helps to filter out like who yeah. are the right yeah, people yeah, to keep yeah. around you and who are not. But since you're on the rise, have you actually felt intimidated by anyone that you've met? Like maybe any peers or those who you've looked up to? Like no, it. I never feel intimidated. Hmm. I do feel like a, not a, some Americans are weird though. Okay, tell <laughs> us because we don't know. Right, how so? What, Let's what, what I'm used weird. to it now, but like... Yeah. 
they just feel like they're God's gift to earth sometimes and they treat people <laughs> like shit sometimes and I've seen it and it's like, have some respect. Like, it doesn't matter who, who you are. Like, mm-hmm. you don't mm-hmm. even know who you're talking to. Like, do you know what I mean? Yeah. And like, yeah, I've seen it. I've, I've actually got into a thing with somebody. Okay. Because I was like, you would not talk to me like that. I don't give a shit who you are. Yeah. Or who you are with. Someone with power? Like in the industry? It, from someone's camp, yeah. And it really was bad to pop off, you know? Yeah. To come with my British accent, he yeah. thought, you know, this girl don't know nothing. But yeah, I do. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> so you had to... Uh, but yeah, no, just have respect. Yeah. Like, sometimes they just feel like, I don't know, it's like so aggressive. Uh-huh. It's not like that we in the all, UK? No, they're a bit more cool. They're a bit more cool. They're not like that, no. They're a bit more down to earth. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Yeah. Do everybody... Well, um, collab- everybody's starting to collaborate together in the UK? Was that yeah. already happening? Yeah, it's happening more and more. Okay. Yeah, it's happening more and more. Everyone's doing tunes with each other. It's actually a good scene. It actually has elevated over the years, like, and it's really beginning to get, like, real, like a real business, like mm-hmm. a real business structure to it. Like, everyone knows, okay, cool, this is where the money's at. Right. This is what the people like to hear, whereas before they wasn't really strategizing on how to maybe even get out of the hood. It was kind of like, mm-hmm. we're here, we don't mind just doing music and just being here. Uh-huh. But I always tell people, like, these people got money for you. Like, you need to get it. Yeah, well, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Just to help your family. Like, there was this guy I knew, he was really popping. And when he told me the price, he asked for a show. I'm like, do you know how pop? Do you know what type of money you could be making? Yeah. <laughs> like, sometimes they didn't know. But now they're getting the knowledge and they're starting to understand the business. So then how were you getting? Were you, like, researching a lot? Or is it because your family was into music that you already had, like, an introduction to the business side? I kind of knew. Like, I kind of knew because... Obviously, you Americans are popping or whatever. So I know when you lot come <laughs> you over, kind of I know what type of stuff you lot be getting. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. it's like, treat us the same. Like, I know they're popping or whatever, but I kind of know. Like, you always have to know, okay, what money does a corporation have? What can yeah. they give? Mm-hmm. And who are they giving this to? And why are they not giving it to us? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So how can we get this money? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, yeah, it's like people are just taking whatever. So, of course, they're just going to give you whatever. And I feel like when when people like me stepped in and kind of knew the business and knew that, okay, you, you can't do that with me. That's why I had deals on the table for a whole year. Yeah. Because I knew that, okay, cool, you want to offer me that? Don't worry, that's fine. That's, Cute. that's what you want to do. <laughs> okay. But I'm going to keep working and you're going to see why I deserve more. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? Because mm-hmm. if someone else came along from maybe over here, you would offer them, you know what I mean, the checks. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> I it's love just, it's, <laughs> love you, man. Yes, so let's go. <laughs> So, so uh, yeah, I feel like after I did what I did, a lot of people saw like, whoa, <laughs> mm-hmm. do you know what I mean? And now they're stepping up the game, which is a good thing. So you were offered a subsidiary, like your own label, independent label, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. 54 London? Yes. Okay. So, and you're the CEO? I am. She's the CEO, ladies wow. and gentlemen, yeah. which is big, unheard of, <laughs> really. And, and so yeah. what, do you have a roster for your label yet? Do you have other artists? You, um, well, yeah, my, so my producer, Rhymes, he's the one who made Hurting Me, made yeah. Real Ting, he made um, a lot, Envious, a lot of songs. He's going to be the first artist, yeah. We're doing him right now, so yeah. Okay. And then, yeah, I do have people that I want to, I want to take my time, but I do, I, I, I feel like if someone signs to me, I feel like I'm responsible for their career, so I don't want to play with that. Right. Mm-hmm. I'm not the type of person that just want to sign you and just maybe have you on the shelf. I really want to put my all into you. Mm-hmm. So right now, I'm so busy on the road. I'm still learning. Mm-hmm. So I want to pick up some more stuff along the way and then maybe get artists in. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? And yeah. help them along the way. But yeah, soon. So you're, you're the trial and error. So what you learn on the road, exactly. the do's and don'ts, you exactly. can put out those fires before they happen. Mm-hmm. This is really impressive. This is why I like this young lady, Steph yeah. Flying Down, ladies <laughs> and gentlemen. Yes. Business mind. And then people say you can't be creative and be business at the same time. What do you say to that? No, of course you can. Yeah. Yeah. You just got to... Who saw sometimes take a t- moment out and mm. think? Yeah. Because sometimes you do get very busy and it gets very difficult because you got to think. I'm very hands on with my stuff. So, like my videos, the way I look. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? Like everything, maybe the stage. Sometimes it gets a lot because, like, I'm here doing show here, then I have to get up here, then you forget. And then you're like, no, shit. I got to snap back. Mm-hmm. It's hard. It's not easy. Mm-hmm. If you know what you want, it's difficult. If you don't know what you want and you leave your team to do whatever, then you're cool. <laughs> but if you're really hands-on and you know what you want, it, it gets harder. It gets harder, right? Yeah. Stefan Don, give out your social media. Citizens, I want y'all to call up and talk to her as well. Yeah, follow me upon the Instagram. Like my picture then, man. Comment. Okay. <laughs> Stefan Don, that's S-T-E-F-L-O-N-D-O-N. All right, we're going to play this song featuring uh, French Montana, the Hurting Me song. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Sway in the morning, shade four or five. Stefan Don is here. Yes, Steph She wants to do the five fingers. I do. That's a spitter right there. I think people forget about, 
you know, Stefan, I'm a, I'm a purist at heart. I mean, we've all achieved our global recognition for what we do. Yeah. I love how you just fix on yourself while we're talking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, damn. You know, but I, I love those who don't forget the craft, the no. art form. You and, know. and you know, to be fair, I, I thought it might be disrespectful for me not being prepared coming yeah. on your show. Yes. Because mm. it just kind of sprung up. So yeah. they told me maybe about it yesterday. And I was like, listen, guys, why don't you tell me from before? But then I thought, no, Steph, you're, you're a rapper. You need to be prepared for this shit. So it's yeah. my fault. Uh-huh. But I wanted to come on here and do the Five Fingers of Death. So I was like, you know what? I'm not even doing sway till I'm ready for this. So we need to come reschedule back. and make sure I okay. do it. Yeah, you, know, you what I mean? know what? You my girl. And I know. And the other thing. I could tell how good a person is mm. by the people around them. Ha. You know? Mm. Yeah. And when we were in Europe, I really paid attention to the people around you mm-hmm. to see how they act. Everybody in your camp was generous and forthcoming and showed so much love. Mm-hmm. It was ridiculous. Yeah. So you my I'm family to you. So when you oh. come back, we I want cuz I want you to do the five fingers. No, Me I, too. I need because, to. Because <laughs> I, I I know when people see you do that five fingers. Yeah. Because you make a lot of great, you're a great songwriter. Thank you. You know, and, and it's, it's obvious in the, in the way your music is spreading. But you're an ill-ass sick MC, too. <laughs> She's a hyena. hyena. She's a hyena. <laughs> and she got the fur. The popping fur. Yeah. What, popping what, what, what's your love life like now? Because you, you're looking gorgeous. Oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pick yourself up, girl. <laughs> Self love. Let's go for it. <laughs> yeah, I'm seeing someone right now. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Is it hard on that person? Because, you know, unless the person is in the business, too. Yeah, he kind of is, but it's still hard a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. So, what was the approach? Because going back to how, you know, some folks are maybe intimidated by your presence. Yeah. Yeah, how did he bag you? Well, I knew him from before. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I knew him from before. So, it was kind of like. Do you know what I mean? The it, friendship foundation was Yeah, there. I kind of, I knew him. For, I had a big crush on him actually for years. Mm-hmm. Did you approach him? Right. No, no, I don't approach guys. Oh. Sorry, I don't do that. A traditionalist. Still on that? Still I don't on that? do that. Listen, no. it, I could like a guy, he would not know I like him. I'd just be sitting in a corner like quiet. I'll stay actually far away. Really? Yeah, I'm really weird. Is that a Jamaican thing? Or is Definitely that like... not a Jamaican thing. <laughs> okay, yeah. I was like, where'd that come from? No, they would be like, Malaika, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And just run up No, on I'm you. just like that. I'm like my mom. Me and my mom are kind of the same. We're like that when it comes to relationship. Like, I've only had two, so this is my second relationship. Okay. Yeah. That's what's up. So you, you ain't spreading the butter as no, much. No, no, okay. no. My last relationship was like <laughs> nine years. Butter. I'm like a relationship girl, so. Oh, wow. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Well, getting outside of um, relationships really quickly, I was thinking about when we were speaking about um, the business aspect mm-hmm. of things and how you have your own subsidiary. And I mentioned off um, air to you that when I was doing a conversation at Yale, that was a little stunt right there. Yeah. <laughs> Give it up. I was talking about how I would love to see um, artists who happen to be female have their own labels mm-hmm. and then sign more female artists because there's an, a glaring absence of them. Yeah. How do you feel about that since you have your own label? Would you be hiring a lot? I mean, yeah, I wanted to. I was in talks with um, one of my girls that actually is a rapper out there. And, um, you know, she, like... People seem to think that it's not a good idea to be like signed to a female. But I always said this, and if I sign another female, I'm not signing you to be under me. Yes, yeah. I'm, I'm me regardless. You're never going to take away from me and I'm never going to take away from you. Mm-hmm. So I'm signing you to be beside me. And that's what some people don't realize. And then some people would say, no, nah, it might not be a good look. But even if I was signing you to be above you, you should make sure you're not going to, I'm not going to. Do you mm-hmm, know what I mean? Mm-hmm, it, mm-hmm. It, you're in control of you know what I mean, what you're going to portray and whatever. But no, I feel like women should be more ready to do that because you will be willing to go sign to someone else, though, quickly. Right. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it's like, are you really about women empowerment? or Do you know what I mean? But I do understand where it could be a difficult thing to try and fit in. I don't know. Mm-hmm. But it shouldn't be. You should just... You know what I mean? Should just... Go for the best deal. Exactly. You you should, it should just be a, a business at the same yeah. time. Exactly. And, you know what I mean? No emotions in it. Steflon Don is <laughs> here, man. If you don't have the EP, hurt me. Get it now. Um, we got uh, Dave from California on the line. Dave, what up? Dave, Dave, Dave. Yo, what's going on, Sway? What up, man? Say hello to Steflon Don. Smelling hey, good, looking on? good, sounding good. It's all kind of good up in the room. <laughs> All right, so I had a question that uh, <laughs> okay, well, go on considered to uh, <laughs> a little bit controversial, I guess, but I wanted to address the comment you made in regards to getting money 
and your subordinates adjusting their music content in order to get more money versus keeping the music, whatever their soul is, or whatever the music was originally intended for, and why you thought that was more important, or if you thought that was more important. That's just how I took it. No, do, do you thought I said change your music to make more money? That's not what I meant. Well, what, what did you mean? We, 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 I think he might have missed No, I said your music is comes with a business, so make yeah. sure they give you the right money for your sound. Like I said, it's more a business aspect behind your music, so not just do your music and not caring about money. Mm -hmm. You should also, you're giving someone a service, so you deserve what you deserve, right? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So not change yeah, your I music, never change your music. Right. No, always stay true to yourself. You get that day? Yeah, it might have just been how I uh, how I interpreted it. Yes. I, I kind of bring it back to uh, to KRS One and the DVD that was called the MC. Yeah. When he talked about being a sellout and saying that uh, your music is your soul, so the moment you start getting paid for, you're literally selling your soul. And for me, that really hit home, and so that's why I wanted to address what you said. I haven't called in ever before, but well, I'm selling my soul then because I'm getting paid. <laughs> 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 hey, hey, Dave. <laughs> I like that. Yo. Hey, Dave, do me a favor. Uh, Dave, yeah. go dig up dig up her EP, man. Listen to it. And, and, and call me back and tell me what you think of her as an artist. Okay? All right, we'll do a shout-out to uh, the Marine Corps, too, by the way. I'm stationed 20 on Palms. My man, I appreciate your service. <laughs> Salute. All right. Uh, D'Artez from St. Louis. What up? D. What's up, y'all? Hey, good morning, everybody. I listen to y'all every morning on the way to work. Um, I love up. the show. My man. Shout out to everybody over there. Um, Stefflon Don, I just want to tell you I love the sound of music, and um, I just followed you on Instagram and everything. And um, I'm actually working with an artist in St. Louis. And, um, I don't want to sound like, a, like I'm trying <laughs> to or anything like that, but we would love to see you some music. Um, she's a female artist. She's all about okay. um, power, women empowerment. And uh, we are uh, working hard to get her music out. Okay, um, well, send we'll it through. I would listen to it. <laughs> yeah, most definitely. Um, if you look her up on... Uh, well, well, that's, what's her name? Valencia. Okay, cool. Send her the music. You do the work, okay? Make yeah. it easy for her, okay? Yeah, I um, send the work and everything. I mean, that's part of my role on the um, crew anyway. It's a crew of us, and that's part of my role. I handle her. Social media and okay, all that. All right, man, my <laughs> man. <laughs> Get out of here. Dartez on the job. Just send the damn music, dog. Um, Sean, what up from DC? Yo, Shawnee. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. What Good up? morning. Settle Steph Step on Don, Don here. Go ahead. Hey. Steph, Steph. Hey. Love, hey, that's my song. <laughs> that's my motherfucking song. But now I got a question about it, though. Yeah. Like, I know this French Montana, like, he'll, he'll use an interpolation of another song from the past mm -hmm. when he's featured on the song. So how does how does the money breakdown go for that? Like, does some of, does some of the publishing from the song go to Mace since he, since he started it out like Mace's uh, Feel So Good verse? It depends. It depends what, what they want. Like, it's all different. It's not, like, really black and white. It's what they've decided on. Maybe not. Maybe he does get some. It, it, I mean, also... But it doesn't it, affect you. No, it's nothing to do with me. And in, unless, it's not like it, a hook or anything, right? It's, uh, it's just, just like a, if he takes a bar, it's a bar. It's not like a whole song or a hook. Mm -hmm. And then if Mace was to uh, step up about it, I'm sure they they would just. Um, I don't think Mace would trip off of that. It wasn't. No, nah. yeah, it wasn't a, a a heavy bite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but a lot of times when that happens, you can clear it with the artist. You know, they might not have a um, problem with it. In most cases, in this case, it, it'll help elevate them. Right. Mm -hmm. So it's mutually beneficial. Sean, good question, though, man. Uh, Teresa, what up? She in Baltimore. Yo, Teresa. T. Hey, Steph. <laughs> hey, Teresa. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I love you. Oh, thank you. Oh, my God. I love you. I listen to your music every day. I'm glad oh. you crossed over. Uh, I thank can tell you. by looking at your video, you was a strong woman. <laughs> You know what I mean? Um, I, I love the relationship piece because I'm there with you. I don't know how long I got, but girl, keep doing you. You represent some strong women, for real. And we yes. need more strong women like that. Oh, definitely, ma'am. Teresa, thanks for your call. You got our EP? You got our music? 
Do I have a music? <laughs> oh my God, ask that question. I'm sorry, Teresa. Late sweat. Hey, you're a citizen, Teresa. Sweat in the morning. All right, you yes. know what, Stefan? It's your first time up here. When we have first time, um, first timers, we do this thing that we call what, Tracy? The mystery sack. The <laughs> sweet <laughs> sack. Yeah. I wonder what's in there. Mm. Mm. Well, so Steph, good. this is what you got to do. A lot so. of fluids. Oh, me, oh, my. Okay. Let's <laughs> chill out right here. Okay, so you're going to answer a total of three questions. Okay. As honest as you can, put your hand in and choose one at a time. Read the question out loud and then go for yours. What's your all-time favorite cereal and why? I don't have a favorite cereal. I don't really eat cereal. Oh, oh shit. Damn. What is <laughs> Breakfast <laughs> item that's, shit. That's beneath her, Tracy. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> all, right, all right. You know what? We'll replace Sorry, that I don't one. know what Start that's over. made of. No. Okay, guys, let's do it again. Okay, Sorry. Okay. Get in my sack. I got to be honest, though. Okay. Make love with the lights on off. Def- on or off, sorry. I can't answer it before. <laughs> <laughs> Make love with the lights on or off. Definitely off. Why is it on? It's just bright in your eyes. Like. <laughs> you can see what you're touching. <laughs> right. Some folks want to see everything. Yeah. The whole video. Gotta be off. Right. It's a muse to watch you next. Some that, music, you know? some candles. Off? Yeah. Not even a tent? Guys. Like a red light? No, no, no tent. Maybe light would look cute. Yeah, like in the corner. You yeah, know, catch like the red shadows. Light district or something. <laughs> When was the last time someone told you no? Oh my gosh, that's a difficult one. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember. No one tells you no? Since I've been lit, not really. Really? <laughs> yeah, that feels too real. Okay, when was the last time someone told you yes? Just now, today. <laughs> <laughs> Since she was lit. Stefflon Don, ladies and gentlemen, give her a round of applause. Eight, eight, eight. Going on tour with G-Eazy, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. When does that start? May. In May? Yeah, Europe tour. I'm coming out there. Yeah, it's going to be I'm coming out there. You he going to come. G-Eazy's from my hometown, so yes. good good dude, and I'm yeah, proud like of you. And when you come back, we're going to have fun. Yes, we're we gonna are. We're going to do that five fingers. We are. Stefflon Don, ladies and gentlemen. We will. Love you. Thank you for coming <laughs> Thank through. Thank you too. for having me. Absolutely. Uh, up next, man, this young man. Representing, you know, this Bay Area function that's taking place tonight. The one and only DJ Tap 10. Yes, it's a, hey, my hey, guy. Yee, yee, yee. My coffee buddy right yeah. here. Man, where you from originally, bro? I grew up in Richmond, El Sobrani. Mm-hmm. Richmond is where Ryan Coogler is from, for that's those right. who don't know. Ooh. El Sobrani is a part of Richmond that you want to kind of give some context to that? Yeah, I mean, it's mm-hmm. it's just right next to... Right next to Richmond. It's a small town. Yes. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Over there by, we drive over there all the time with a little casino over there near Hilltop. Yep. Yep. Yeah, San yeah. Pablo yeah, Casino. Yeah, San Pablo Casinos. Uh, we're doing this event tonight. I'm actually going to come out and host it, right? The Bay Area Function. That's right. right. I'm uh, I'm looking forward to this. This is going to be pretty dope. American Museum of Natural History. Uh-huh. One Step Beyond. We're just celebrating all, all um, you know, Bay Area music. Yeah, from... Too short to Freddie B to Mac Dre to G Easy to, to Taylor Souls of Mischief, S O B R V E, everything. Digital Underground, of course. Raphael Sadiq, yep. In Vogue, Hammer, yep. that's right. Sway and Tech, of it go, course. And it goes heavy, right? right? Of course. Okay. It's got to be Sway and Tech. Okay. Because I'm a, I'm gonna say it off top. <laughs> like this is kind of crazy to be here right now. I mean I mean I'm a fan of what you guys do here at Sway in the Morning. Yeah. Like I I pay attention to every interview. Wow. But I'm a I'm a wake up show fan. Ooh. I'm I'm like a real wake up show fan from Prince Ice, Joe Quicks, DJ Revolution. You know, oh, ten yeah, o'clock bomb. Back. Shit, you said. You know, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. Flaunt, that that's a show that I started with with uh, my ah, partner King okay. Tech Wake Up Show. That's the show that. Broke Nas and Biggie and Wu Tang and all these oh, people sick. when we were young and grimy and di- didn't give a fuck about the business <laughs> mm-hmm. and hated the industry and <laughs> did everything we could to disrupt it. That- now look at us now, shit MTV. Serious. I sold my soul. No, just <laughs> no, that's yeah, that's yeah. where I learned the game <laughs> from no. the Wake Up Show. That's where I really learned the game. Everything I know about music, not wow. just hip hop. You know, like mm-hmm. that was it. When you guys started off the show with the Wake Up Show Classic, yeah. you know, that that was me tuning in. I still got boxes of tapes at the crib. Man, shit, at my about, parents' crib. Yeah. I'm about to give you a hug, dog. Word. Man. DJ Tap 10, man. Give out your social media, bro. It's it's Tap 10 on everything. T-A-P-1-0, Instagram, Twitter. 
all that. You gonna give us a sample of what you gonna do tonight? Yeah. My emotion so. coming tonight. D- My emotion. Pirate DJs. Yep. D sharp. D sharp is gonna be yep. there too. The resident warriors DJ. Okay. Yep. Any performances? Not as, we we we'll, we'll see who shows up. Okay. Because you we, know I'm gonna pull them on the mic. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm gonna pull yeah, them yeah, on yeah. the mic. All right. Hey. Yeah. By the end of the night, we want we want people doing the you know the thiz dance on top of T Rex. That's that's Damn. what we're going. That's for. what we're going yeah, for. Yeah, yeah. All right. Cool, man. Well, the, hey, the station is yours. Uh, Stefan Don, thanks again for coming oh, by. Thank you. You're amazing. Yes. You're amazing, talented, sincerely, brilliant person. Oh, and I love your sensibility about this music business. Yeah. Keep that. All right, thank Stefan you. Don, ladies and gentlemen. Um, up after the mix, we're gonna do our Fire Friday cipher. Woo! And then look, my, the homie Black Youngster is going to stop by later on. But right now, it's the one and only DJ Tap 10.